them by the way that you came Tell them by the unamusing look on your face You don't wanna see me anymore, it's okay, yeah Garlic butter steak bites. Start by cubing two pounds of steak, dropping it into a cast iron skillet along with two tablespoons of oil, cooking until brown, about three to four minutes. Next, you drain the pan and add two tablespoons of butter and then drop six cloves of minced garlic into the pan, sauteing until browned. Then mix the steak back in so that it's all buttered up. And finally, chop a green onion to eventually garnish the steak with and then serve with Accidentally just did the most amazing keto thing ever. Preheat your oven, 375. You've all seen these cheese wraps, whatever it is you use. Put them on the parchment paper. Pop them in your oven just like this for six minutes. While you're waiting your six minutes, take a bowl and flip it upside down and get it ready because the last step, you're not gonna have much time. I went with a smaller bowl because I went with a smaller wrap so I didn't even notice, but you have 30 seconds once you pull these out to shape them over your bowls. Once they're shaped over your bowls, you're just gonna give it three to five minutes. And now you can fill with your favorite ingredients and you have this perfect salad shell made out of cheese. So a lot of y'all asked for step-by-step -step instruction on how I make my Cajun-style shrimp pasta. Go ahead, get you some motherfucking complete, because it completes your meal, bitch. Cajun-style roasted garlic and herb, old motherfucking bag. Get you some black pepper, smoked paprika for color. Rub that shit the fuck in. Go ahead, get you some butter and throw it on a skillet. Let it do it like that. Linguine. Me, whatever, however the motherfuck you pronounce it, I don't care. <laughs> Get you some heavy whipping cream. Use about that much, because I'm extra. Get you some medium cheddar mozzarella. Oh, and Parmesan, by the way. I left that out. You can, you know, put it to your liking or whatever. Should have been like that. Mm -hmm. Add your shrimp in there, your noodles, and then that should be your end result. The shit is motherfucking fire. And it does not dis I made a loaded broccoli baked potato a while ago and it went viral, so I thought, why not do a mashed potato version? So I start off with five potatoes. I peel them and rinse them off, cube them into even pieces, remove the dark spots, if any, throw into a pan and add cold water and a pinch of salt. Bring them to a boil and cook for 40 minutes until tender. Chop six slices of bacon, add three. Add one chopped green onion, two ounces cream cheese, two tablespoons butter, half cup sour cream, half cup yellow cheddar, and half cup white cheddar. I'm adding some heavy cream, but you can use milk. And then I'm just blending it all together. Once it's creamy, I add in one head of steamed broccoli, and it should look like this. Add to a baking pan and smooth out. Top with remaining cheese, green onions, and bacon. Cook at 375 for 20 minutes, and you're done. Here's me making a spicy chicken wrap with avocado, onions, peppers, cheese. And if you want the recipe, let me know. I'm going to show you how to make your own aloe vera gel. So first we're going to cut the ends and then we're going to slice it down the sides to open it. And we're just going to cut down both of the sides. After we cut down the sides, we're going to cut it in half and I'm going to fillet it like you would a fish. And there you'll see all of that aloe meat. Now what I do is I actually slice it one way and then I cut it into cubes. Some people actually take a spoon and dig it out, but that makes it harder. And then this way, as you see, when you cut it into cubes, it's easy to get in the bowl. I'm gonna be using a teaspoon of coconut oil and a half a teaspoon of citric acid, which is a natural preservative. It keeps it so that it can last longer. Then I'm gonna blend it all together until it liquefies and I'm gonna put it in a nice, tightly lit jar, and there you have your own aloe vera gel. Check it out, fried zucchini flour. You wanna remove the stamen and give them a good clean. I stuff these with ricotta and basil. Whisk up some tempura bat, one cup flour with some soda water. Should look like that. Then you're gonna shallow fry these in some canola oil. 
plate them up with some flaky salt and some honey. Delicious. These brownies are so good, you won't even taste how healthy they are. We're going to start with one cup mashed sweet potato. Next, get your pail of almond butter. We need one cup. This is my one cup scooper, which really comes in handy at times like these. Next, add a third a cup unsweetened cacao powder and a half a cup pure maple syrup. Now mix it all up until it's pretty smooth. Then add chocolate chips. Put your batter in your prepared pan. I just lined mine with parchment and a little nonstick spray. We're gonna bake these at 350 until a toothpick comes out clean and you will have the most amazing healthy brownies ever. Let's make garlic noodles today. You're gonna cook about a half a box of angel hair pasta, then chop up some green onions and garlic, and then you're gonna want to drizzle olive oil into the garlic, set it aside. Now let's mix the sauce. You're gonna take two tablespoons of brown sugar, add two teaspoons of sesame oil, add two teaspoons of soy sauce, then add two tablespoons of hoisin or oyster sauce and mix it all up. Then on medium heat, you're gonna to want to melt a quarter stick of butter into a pot Add your garlic and scallions, let it caramelize a little bit, mix your sauce in and add the pasta. Finish it off with a little bit of cracked pepper and scallions and it is amazing. This is my pre-workout meal going down for breakfast. So I'm training around 11. So I typically have in the morning a high protein, high-ish, moderate fat and low carb meal and try and save my carbohydrates for later on in the day. Personally, I crave all my carbs in the evening and that's typically when most people binge or fall off their diet. So I've put one egg, I normally do two or three but only had one in the kitchen, um, egg whites, some salad and leaves and then fry all that all together and scramble it. I then also added some ham for some added proteins. Also season it as you so desire. I like to add quite a lot of salt in, black pepper, and some chili flakes. The salt will actually help your pump in the gym, so it's quite good to have pre-workout and makes you feel good, so that's, that's always a bonus. And then I am also like to have fruit or veg with every single meal. So I'm having raspberries, which is quite random, but it was just what's in my fridge. So yeah, hope everyone has a good day, and I'm gonna live stream my workout. All right, how do y'all make your tacos? Get yourself an onion, a garlic, some celery, chili or ball things, um, a big old piece of roast, brown it, put some chicken broth, another one, another one, a bay leaf. Some of those dried up Mexican chili things from the grocery store, some more. After four hours, take everything out except the meat and the celery, blend it up. Put some of the juice in there, put a chicken bouillon, some cumin, some oregano, some salt, blend it up, tortilla, shred up your meat, put it in a pan, put some cheese, a little bit of onion, a little bit of cilantro, fold her in half, put a little of lime on there, and bone apple tea. Today we'll be doing our Rouse homemade fusilli pasta. Once the salt water comes to a boil, throw the noodles in, and mince some garlic up. Before you drain your noodles, be sure to put away a cup of the pasta water. Don't ask me why, just do it. Next up, olive oil in the pan, throw your minced garlic. We've got 80-20 ground beef from Trader Joe's. I'm always beating my meat before I throw it in there. Mix around, garlic salt, uh, oregano and some pepper. Be very generous with your seasoning. Next up is the pasta water that you set aside and then comes in our sauces. We have a tomato basil and an alfredo sauce that we'll be combining. After throwing in your alfredo, I put some milk in the jar, stir it around and get the rest of it out of the jar. Mix the sauce, bring it to a boil, add in your noodles and then you're done. Mm. 
Mmm! First keto meal that I've made, I used these carb balanced tortillas, and then I used some cream cheese and some pepperonis, put it on the grill with some butter, and there you go. Hey you guys, happy Monday. So I'm gonna do a Chinese chicken salad, which is a huge hit in the family, or AKA Asian chicken salad, and the dressing is to die for, like seriously. So we're gonna make crispy little wontons, yum. And these are wonton wrappers from the Asian store. Cut them into strips. I'm just frying in some grapeseed oil. Fry till they're golden, so a few minutes each side. And let them cool, yum. So good. I have one chicken breast. I did Cajun seasoning, salt, and pepper, and we'll cook. Yum, yum. So for our amazing ginger dressing, got about a two inch piece of ginger, two garlic cloves that we will grate into our small jar, quarter cup neutral oil, two tablespoon rice wine vinegar, two tablespoons soy sauce, tablespoon half toasted sesame oil, two tablespoons sugar, squirt of honey, little squirt of lime juice, and shake. Mmm, delish. Mm. Chicken is done. Onto a plate. So we have green leaf lettuce, cabbage, carrots, scallion, cilantro, orange. Crispy wonton. This is a super food for your heart. Raw beets are filled with nitrate. Your body will turn it into nitric oxide. You can add some lemon to it and some olive oil and just enjoy it. It's incredible. You can do this. All I did was I cut up six cucumbers, English cucumbers. Then I'm going to add from the jar marinated artichoke hearts with the liquid because that dressing in there is fabulous. Okay? Of roasted peppers. I drain them and I'm pouring them in. Look at that color. Summer, I'm going to add just a little bit of salt, kosher salt, a little bit of black pepper. Up. Eat it. Love it. Enjoy it. You can do it. Woo. All right, guys. Some garlic powder. Some lemon juice. The chicken in. Make sure it's uh, nice and crispy from the top. Unreasonable amount of onions. Now add a little bit of tomato paste. The so onions are cooked. Make sure you put all the spices that we put in the chicken. Add in your rice. Add in some coconut milk. Add in some water. Add in some salt, add in your chicken and bring it to boil. So once the water is dried up, cover the rice and turn down the heat. Okay, it's all ready now, mashallah and bismillah. A great potato salad is really hard to beat. So I'm gonna try to make the best potato salad on TikTok. Now let's go! So we start with mayonnaise, mustard of your choice, white wine vinegar, some malt and salt, Sergeant Gilbert reporting for duty, in, Give that a mix. These are eight minute eggs. Now here's the trick. Save 25% of all your ingredients. Celery, dill pickles, white onion, smoked bacon, celery seed optional, but I like it. Chives, fresh dill, and chopped eggs. So here I have three pounds of gold potatoes. Cook them in salted boiling water until just fork tender. Potatoes, the world has enough mushy potato salads. So gently and with respect, fold everything together. Let's plate up. Now go into a garnish frenzy with all your reserved toppings. Mold and salt and Gilbert on those eggs and just place them around your salad. What do you think, best on TikTok? Hands down best potato salad I've ever had. Well my friend- Okay, here's an easy marinade for grilled shrimp. You will need cilantro, garlic, julienne white onion, the juice of three limes, kosher salt, Old Bay, and olive oil. Now our food hack here is chipotle powder. Chipotle powder is awesome on shrimp. It adds a spiciness and a smokiness that you will love. All right, now go make it. 